Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here saying my kitchen ready to make dinner again and tonight what I'm going to make is a ocean perch with a lemon caper sauce. Stick around, this is going to be good. I tell you, this dish is so easy to make. I mean, it just goes by like that. It really does. I'm going to make a side of vegetables with it too. Just nuking off some frozen, I think it was uh, peas, carrots, and green beans. And then I'm also going to cook off some Pillsbury uh, bread rolls. Uh, I can't remember which one they are, the buttery flaky things. <laughs> But anyway, for the fish, I got everything laid out on the counter here, and let me show you exactly what we're going to do. Okay, here is the package of ocean perch fillets. This is a one pound bag, and these are all the fish fillets here. What we will do is we'll cut this open. There's a little bit of a liquidy juice in here. So we're going to cut the bags open, drain them in the sink, and then I'll just pat them dry with some paper towel. I'll need a couple of tablespoons of oil, which will go into the saucepan over there. We will make up a little bit of a dredge for the fish, and the dredge will be a quarter cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of um, just dry dill. You can use fresh dill if you want. Use about a tablespoon if you actually want to use the fresh stuff, okay? And then for our sauce, I have half a cup of chicken broth. I use this Herb Ox chicken stock. It's a low sodium thing. So I've got just a half cup. I used the whole package for, which makes a cup, but I only made half a cup. So it's like double strength. I am going to grate up about a teaspoon of lemon zest. And then I also need a tablespoon of lemon juice so once i get it zested i will then cut it and put the um, lemon juice and zest in the broth and then i also need a taste a tablespoon of capers so if you guys don't know what capers are they're little berries they're usually in a brine and they kind of add like a pickly flavor to your uh recipe I got just a little bit left in that one, but I don't think it's enough, so I need a tablespoon of them. That might be close, but eh, probably get a little more out of this one too. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna put about two teaspoons of oil in the, my pan here. I'm gonna set that on a medium high heat. So if you got an electric, six, seven, somewhere around there. So I'm just gonna let that heat up and yes, you'll notice that I'm using those new Michelangelo uh, pans. I said that these are gonna be my primary cook set for the whole year. Now I do have other pots and pans that I've kept because I'm starting to learn a couple of things from these already. And I'll get into that when I do my final review at the end of the year, okay? So medium high heat, two tablespoons of oil. I'm also going to start my oven at 350 so I can do off my rolls as well. All right, let's get into the uh, fish and the sauce. Okay, so for my sauce, what I need to do is I need to grate. I'm gonna say that's probably between a half a lemon and a whole lemon worth of zest. Depends on the size of your lemon. All right, so. Scrape it off the plastic here and anything that fell onto the countertop. I'm going to put that right into my chicken broth and then I'll have my lemon. I'm 
Now I'll squeeze the juice right into my hand to catch any seeds that might come out. I think I'm going to add the other half as well. Kind of depends on your lemon. Sometimes you get a dry lemon, you don't get that much juice out of it. So yeah, use anywhere between one, maybe even two lemons to get a full tablespoon. If you get a really juicy one, you might only need half a lemon. Okay. So that I can throw out. Yeah, not quite a tablespoon. I'm just going to throw those in there. And there, about another teaspoon. So that should be about a tablespoon now. All right, now I'm going to make my dredge. And for that, I need a quarter cup of flour. I need a teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of dill. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a fork and just stir it around a little bit. Just incorporate that, that dill and that black pepper into the flour. pretty good okay let's take care of the fish now all right so the next thing I want to do is I want to open these packages just cut them open like I said there is fish liquid in there some juices we're gonna take those and we're just gonna rinse off the fish a little bit that's all you gotta do just that little bit of rinse we're gonna just set it on the paper towel Now my package, the one pound of fish is in three, or I'm sorry, in five different uh, little fillets here. But yours might have four, three, maybe even up to six fillets. And you can also use other fish other than the perch. You can use um, orange roughy, Maybe some, uh, some bass, some sea bass would be good. Maybe some uh, tilapia. Um, even some uh, sole would be really good with this too. Basically all you're really looking for is just a nice flaky white fish. That's all you really need. All right, now that I have everything kind of rinsed off just kind of give it a little pat dry here so you just put the piece in flip it around a little bit make sure it's all nice and coated with the flour and that dill and that pepper and you don't need much don't need much at all so just knock off anything loose Okay, the last piece to dredge. All right, let's cook. All right, here we go. My pan is well heated. Everything is gonna move really fast. Just gonna stick the fish in here. Just give them a slight sear. So just like that. Now, of course, when I go to flip the fish, I'll use a 
uh, plastic, a heat resistant plastic and not metal on this pan. I'm trying to follow the rules the best I can. <laughs> As you can see too, I've got my sauce right here. So once I give this about a minute on each side of the fish, I'll just dump my sauce in there and then let it cook for like five minutes. That's all it's going to take. Oh, and by the way, I didn't film it, but I've already got my uh, rolls going in the oven. And in fact, I better throw my vegetables in the microwave now. Take a peek at this. Yeah, that's looking all right. Maybe could have used a little more time on that side, but oh well. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, time for me to add my broth. I'm just going to pour it into the pan. Do not stir it at all. Just let it sit here and simmer for like five minutes. Ooh, those are nice and hot. Okay, that looks done. So you can see how the sauce really uh, thickened up. So yep, that's really good. All right, my veggies just got done. Now all I put into my uh, peas, carrots, and green beans was just a little bit of butter. That's all I put into it. All right, let's dish up. There you go, guys. Oh, the smell is just amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. I really do. I really, really the fish is just all flaky it just comes apart mm. that dill the lemon the little pickly flavor of the capers oh, great and seriously guys this literally even with all the filming it took me a top of like 20 minutes to put everything together and cook everything off it, was, it just went by so quick so of course let you know i do eat my vegetables mm. not bad maybe a little salt and pepper would be good of course a little uh flaky puff pastry thing from pillsbury I'm sorry, but the big star of the show for me is the fish. I could probably actually sit there and eat the whole pound by myself. It's that good. But I've got people to feed in the house. So I got to let you guys go so they can eat. Ah! <laughs> mm. All right. So this is Mark saying thanks again for watching. Stay tuned next week. We're going to go on a hike. I haven't quite decided where I want to go. I think I want to do part of the Ice Age Trail, but it's kind of difficult this time of year because I never know how much snow we're going to get on any given day. Right now, there's a forecast saying two to four inches, which isn't much here. But if you travel something like an Ice Age Trail that has lots of rocks and roots and stuff like that, it could make it kind of treacherous. So I might try another trail. Maybe I'll go back up to the... Uh, military ridge trail we'll do some more of that or 
maybe we'll try a new trail and go over to the uh, um, what was that the uh, glacial drumlin trail maybe we'll do that one too so see you next week guys bye